Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna to do a video on the Brilliant Evolution puck lights. They are remote control, they're LED, and you know they have a dimmer. I'm gonna do a video on this because I'm seeing a lot of talk about them. They're becoming very popular. I wanna see what they're about, and some of you may be interested in, in them as well, which is why you might be watching this video. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a review, show you how to install them. I'm gonna actually install them over my existing under cabinet lights, and, um, and then We'll uh, make our assessment at the end. So here we are. This is how they came packaged. Brilliant Evolution Light 6 Pack. Made in China. And um, so right away it tells us that the batteries are inside the puck lights. So that's good. At least it came with batteries. We've got the remote. Six pucks. And... Um, set of instructions and we've got for installation you can use this uh, double-sided tape or mounting screws okay so here's what you need to know about these the remote has a dimmer and um, you can you can also has a timer so you can you can basically set these to go off every 15 30 60 or 120 minutes okay and the dimmer, we've got like a 50% or 100% setting, and you can also do anywhere in between with the plus and the minus. This remote will control up to 10 puck lights. So this has six. I suppose if you bought another pack, uh, you'd be able to control, I suppose, four more. Not sure why it can only control 10, but that's what the instructions say. Like I said, this comes with six pucks. Each puck has three LED bulbs. They are 3,000 Kelvin temperature, which is, which is decent. Either that or 3,500 potentially would have been slightly better, but 3,000 isn't bad. 27 is too warm. These come with, uh, or they come with three AAA batteries, and at some point you'd likely consider changing to rechargeable because the instructions say that these will last for 100 hours, okay? So if you... Um, if you have these running for three hours a night in the evening, then once per month you'd be swapping out batteries. So that would be 18 AA batteries every month if you ran these lights for three hours per night. So that hopefully that gives you an idea as to as to um, what you could an ex, you can expect with the battery operated lights. Okay. So the the benefit is the ease of installation. However. Uh, the negative is the constant either recharging or replacement of the batteries. If you're interested in these, I'm putting a link in the description below where you can uh, purchase them. As far as installation is concerned, take the cap off. You've got two holes here for the screws if you wanted to screw into your cabinets. This was what I'd recommend if you found a permanent position for them. And I would consider using the uh, the double-sided tape uh, at first until you've you're just testing the, the lights and then once you've uh, found that right spot then you can just you know with the cap still adhered to the cabinet with the tape you can just screw right through them right into the cabinet to hold it in there permanently so these things are are communicating with the remote via infrared and you'll see this little what looks like to be a, almost like a Wi-Fi symbol on the lights. When you install them, you want these facing outward towards where the remote control would be so that way it, it could communicate easily. If you have it spun around the back, it might be very difficult for the remote to, uh, to communicate. And the instructions say this remote's good for up to 15 feet away. So now let's figure out where we're going to install these. The first thing we want to figure out is where we're going to place these pucks. I'm only going to do this side of the kitchen here because I've got just six puck lights for this uh, test. I'm going to put two here, one under each door, and I'm going to put one, two, three, and then the sixth one here under this side. And uh, after I install them, we'll wait till it gets dark and we will see um, how it looks tonight. Here is a quick rundown on how these will work. I'm going to turn them all on right now using the green button on the remote. These are at 
brightness. I'm going to hit the 50% button. And then also you can do micro adjustments uh, with this plus and minus button here. Okay, and you can see how dim you can get it without shutting off completely. That right there is as dim as it gets. Okay, so fairly simple to work. And then, like I said, you've got the timers. We'll shut it off. And you can also see that these are tap lights as well. You can just turn them on just or off just by tapping the lens. So I'm going to uh, install these now just uh, using the, the double-sided tape. last one here. Okay. All right, we can see what this looks like in the daylight. Right now, this is the regular under cabinet lights. I'm going to turn them off. Now I'll put on these uh, puck lights. Okay. So you can see a bit of a difference in the brightness, right? I'm gonna turn them off. There's the, the regular under cabinet lights, the LED strip lights for the fixtures. So we're gonna come back again in, at night and uh, we'll test it then. Okay, so we're here in the kitchen and it, it's nighttime. I've got just uh, the one light behind me over the kitchen table. I wanna keep the rest of the kitchen dark so you can see uh, what it looks like. So now I'm going to turn these uh, puck lights on and I hit the button once. It looks like I got to do it again a couple of times to get all the lights to turn on. Okay, and right now this is on the brightest setting. I'm going to do, go down to 50%. And what I did notice is you have to point it towards the puck lights that you want to turn on. I, I can't just press the button and have them all go on at once. Maybe if I have the right angle it'll work that way, but it doesn't that it does not do it unless I'm pointing directly at it. Back up to 100%. So you can see right here um, you know it's providing it looks like ambient light. I wouldn't necessarily call it you know task lighting, but it's definitely ambient. Um, you can see that the temperature is roughly um, 3000 like it indicates. Now I want to see what the difference is between these lights and the hardwired LED fixtures that I have under there as well. So first let's turn this off and we'll flip these on. Okay so you can see the difference between the puck lights and the hardwired LED. Now I do think the puck lights look good for um, for you know, considering the cost and also potentially the application, I think it's a great thing to do if you've got um, if you're remodeling your kitchen on a budget and you don't want to spend a lot of money. Uh, I think it's a it's a great uh, a great way to go. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, this gave you a better feel for the Brilliant Evolution puck lights. There's a link in the description below to purchase them, and if you uh, want to hit that subscribe button and come back and watch the next one, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks.